Morning, guys. Um, there's no agenda today, really. Can we just hang out? So I'm about to go to a coffee meeting. I hope the coffee is free and I'm a little late, so hopefully I'll catch them halfway. It's free? Alright, thank you thank so you. much. Sorry about the wait today, guys. Didn't expect the rush. <laughs> Well, the meeting is kind of over. Um, well, actually, I bailed. Today is a mini three minutes thesis run, and I've been trying to memorize my three minutes worth of speech, and it's what the earphones is for. All day long, I'm gonna be listening to my own recording, and that is uh, my trick on how to memorize anything quickly, just listening to it over and over and try to sing along. When you think of an outer space, you may think of a quiet, a void, a vast emptiness. But vacuum is not really empty though. It's full of virtual particle pairs popping in and out of existence. So vacuum is in the end actually rather bumpy and seething. Although bumpy vacuum is important on a quantum scale, it causes problems for scientists and renders our ability to precisely measure something really tiny. Gravitational waves, for instance. A gravitational wave is a distortion in space-time caused by an accelerating object a speeding car, a flying bird, but it takes massive objects meeting their violent death in space to produce measurable strength of gravitational waves on Earth. Even then, the gravitational waves would distort space-time less than the size of a proton. The Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, or LIGO, is set to detect them. I usually go have lunch at home. Now it's lunch time. I'm gonna go home for like an hour or so. Gravitational waves open up a new field of astronomy and allow us to probe the universe the way it's never been done before. And to measure the universe's whispers, LIGO needs a really good ruler. And in this case, it's a laser. This laser travels inside a vacuum, and this bumpiness of the vacuum causes the uncertainty in signal arrival time, drowning the already minuscule gravitational wave information, like an interference to a cell tower as you're making a phone call. The signal becomes fuzzy. It's been known since the 1980s that a vacuum can be manipulated. I spent over a year in the United States helping build a tool that would do just that. It would turn a bumpy vacuum into a more orderly vacuum. It's called quantum squeezer. So for those who for those who do not know, a three minutes thesis is basically where you get out there in front of an audience and talk about your thesis for exactly three minutes no props, no notes, and you want to bring your research down to earth the best you could and explain to them why they should care about your research. The problem with squeezing is it's not a down to earth research. I'm doing the best I could. And this is just a mini three minutes thesis that is a competition among the residents of a graduate house. The number of audience is small. It's a friendly environment, and I think it's a good practice for me to learn to speak to the audience. Oh, so I could win 500 bucks. I, I think this is a good practice for the actual ANU three minute thesis. That one has a $5,000 price. So this afternoon, I'm gonna stay in and try to memorize everything the best I could and make sure I'm able to deliver the speech smoothly. not really empty though. It's full of virtual particle pairs popping in and out of its existence. So in the end, vacuum is rather bumpy and seedy. Oh well, I didn't win. But hey, there are 10 other people and they were really good too. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for me. I could use some love right now. With the squeezer deployed for the first time in the advanced LIGO era, scientists were able to hear 15% further in the universe, or 50% more in volume. The whispers from the universe became clearer, 
the faint messages that would have otherwise been buried under a sea of noise recovered. So far, the squeezer has contributed to 56 gravitational wave detections, and that is how I and ANU contributed to the world of gravitational wave astronomy. A quantum squeezer is a cutting-edge technology. A more real-world application of a squeezer is used in quantum computing, which would allow the future of mankind to communicate even more securely. And this is just the beginning. Someday it may help us teleport to places more precisely. Who knows?